Good evening. We're back with more Marvel Snap. Beginning the evening at rank 84 and 3 cubes and continuing to play the Patriot Dazzler deck from the last couple of videos. And we'll see how it does. Still not sure if this is the best version of this deck. That's possible. But it's winning, so don't fix what isn't broken, right? Sure, I'll play Mysterio here. Ah, this game, this deck is not really a Nexus deck. So if I draw a Dazzler and have Ultron, then I'll have a decent chance, but we'll see. There is the chance that this is a bot. How do I play this in that case? I can't play Brood to Nexus. It'll fill up all the slots there. There's the Dazzler. Yeah, this is a bot. All systems go. Okay. Maybe I could have played that a little differently to get the bot to snap. I'm not sure. What are the odds I'll draw something that I can play next turn? 100%. Every card in my deck I could play if I drew it. Mystique wouldn't be that useful, nor would Wasp, or Ant-Man, or really Mojo. So there's two that would be useful. Probably four that wouldn't be. But I lead at every lane.
Yep. My opponent wouldn't have gone to showdown in any case there. I should have snapped before on turn three, probably. Was going to play Mysterio, but we'll make use of the extra energy to get out Patriot. I think this is fine. Fills up the right lane very early, but I can add to it with blue marble. This isn't that good of a draw for me, that's why I haven't snapped no Dazzler or Ultron. Well, go to showdown. Okay, yep. So it wasn't that good of a draw for me, but it was even worse for my opponent. cards to play after Patriot is the problem, so I can't, I don't like that one of my clones is getting destroyed by Murder World, but I don't have another good spot to play this. Danger Room zaps the other one. Okay, well that will help with filling out the board if I need to. Uh, my opponent played Daredevil to, uh, yeah, this is a, a bot, I think. Killmonger is out of the way early.
go blue marvel and then ultron Maybe there was a way to convince the bot to snap earlier than this. Okay, that's fine. Interesting. It's a retreating bot. Probably we're, we're both going to fill up Baxter building here. So Mojo has a pretty good chance of getting activated, given that my opponent played Ant-Man. Most likely a Thanos deck. Where do I want to put Misty Knight? Could go to Hala, I think. got a draw that may not be the best. Yeah, and he's out before even seeing turn 5. Probably drew another rock, got frustrated. Well, got Ultron, so no need to play Squirrel Girl here. Seems like I say that a lot. It's relatively rare that Squirrel Girl is needed in this deck. Bar Sinister. Well, that will be good with, like, Blue Marvel or Patriot, ideally. Well, I've got to play something here. Can't play Mysterio. It'll fill up Bar Sinister with copies of the clone. Play Wolverine just to get him out of hand. This isn't a very good draw. There's Patriot. Okay. Now it's better. Cosmo. That does complicate things.
Not sure I can fill the, all the board all the way up now. In fact, I don't think I can. I'll have a blank spot at Lemuria. I shouldn't have played Mysterio there. Just hurt myself. Well, I can. I, wait, can I fill the board? Yeah, I can fill the board. I just can't play Ultron to do it, so I think this is fine, though. Is it fine? It'll be four, five. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, so it'll be up by 10 and up by a lot. Okay, opponent's leaving. So Shuri Zero. And I got their Shuri. I may actually have a chance of winning against Shuri Zero. We'll see. Well, if my opponent is stacking up on Avengers Compound, then it's going to be Shuri, and then Doc Ock there, and then probably Taskmaster. Or should it be the old She-Hulk Taskmaster on turn 6? Sure. Why not? I mean, does it matter? I'd rather do this. That's funny. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus Cosmo. Could be a bot. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe his play was reasonable. He had no way of knowing if my deck had any synergy at all. With the weird world.
Interesting. Don't think I actually want to play Brood here, or do I? Wouldn't be able to play anything on turn 5 if I take full advantage of it. I think I'm going to go with Mystique. Clones the Mojo. Is that where I want her? Sure. This looks like a Serum Miracle deck. He could have Enchantress. Definitely gonna be Dazzler, I think, over Blue Marvel. Dazzler's 10, Blue Marvel will be more though. Just spread across all lanes. He's 11. So, Ultron where? Ultron drones are just worth two, so plus two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven at Lemuria. E plus three. Might as well do this, and I think I will snap as well. Oh, that's fine. This is also a bot, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. The Killmonger was certainly reasonable. No need to play Ant-Man here if he's going to be free. Hmm. That's good for me, I would say. I may get double Onslaught Citadel. No, nope, not anymore. Of course, my opponent will likely be playing ongoing effects as well that he'll be able to take advantage of.
like that. Need to play any other cards this turn. Unless I get leeched. In which case, I wish I had. Okay. Alrighty, where do I want everything to go? Go four. Want the most powerful cards to go there. Okay. Well, it's going very well tonight, but the cube gains have been on the back of bots, and I don't know why I'm getting paired with a lot of bots right now. I have some theories about it, but they're crazy conspiracy theories. One theory would be that I've just kind of toiled in, uh, well, I've been breaking even for so long that the game's now taking pity and giving me a bunch of bots because my MMR has gone down due to the fact that I haven't been climbing. That's a possibility. Another possibility is that the matchmaker does in fact try to match you with mirror matches, but because I'm running Dazzler, which is like tied for the least run card in the game, uh, the matchmaker can't find mirror matches, and so it's pairing me with bots. Or, it's just one of those nights where not a lot of players are playing. It's a Friday night. Who knows? So I'll go Patriot. Dazzler will be 12 power if I wish to play Dazzler to Space Throne. Which I think I do. I don't know if that will be enough. It gives me my best chance to win Space Throne. Now Dazzler will be 13 power. Wait, does it say there need to be four cards at every location? It does. Oh, not that every location needs to be full. Okay, I messed up. So, well, let's see. I get plus eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It would be a 21. That's nowhere near enough. Depends on how many cards my opponent plays here. If he can top me at Space Throne, he wins. He already played his Dino. What else does this deck play? I don't know. He probably can top me at Space Throne. My only other play there would have been Ultron, and that's not that good. How many cards would my opponent have to play before I'd win? I go 9, 10, 11, 12, so I'll be at 21. He'd have to play 4 or 5 cards. Yeah, I don't think so. 
If Dazzler activated when you just fill up every location, that'd be great. But you have to have four cards at every location. Okay. Hmm. That's all I do this round. I don't know if I draw Ultra, I'm going to wish I'd done more. What if I draw Dazzler? I could still fill up the board, right? Yeah. I still don't really know what kind of deck my opponent's playing. Okay, now I do. So I go... One, two, three. Oh, I can't play that there. Okay. This is going to be a five, six, seven power squirrel, so I should be just fine against Taskmaster. Which means a snap. Wait. Am I fine against... Oh. I was okay against Zola as well, right? Or was I? Let's say he zola and I was at 4, 5, 6, 7. I would lose Hellfire Club. I don't think I was okay against Zola. I think I lose to Zola. Wait, it would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, we would tie at Hellfire Club. And then I'm adding 2 there. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Oh yeah, I was fine against Zola, so that was a fine snap. Beat the Shuri 0, because they didn't draw Shuri. Double Patriot, Double Mystique, just give me Ultron. Tazzler, maybe. Looks like another Shuri Zero deck, though. Turn three, so he's not snapping because he's about to play Shuri. Should 
sure he has it though. Come on, Dazzler Ultron. One and four to draw Dazzler, one and four to draw Ultron. Do either of those actually win me the game? I mean, he doesn't have a Shuri, so maybe. It'll be powerful squirrels, nine power each. Powerful wasp. Dazzler's only actually 10 power, so I don't really know if she's even the best draw. Maybe it's Blue Marvel. Alright, time for some math. So we can go Dazzler, which will add 10 power, add 10 power somewhere else. We can go Wasp. So that adds 19 power, puts me over the top but barely and it adds 19 somewhere else as well or I can play Ultron that adds 17 9, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I go plus 18, 21. So I barely top my opponent at each of these locations. Barely. All he needs to do is play something else, or he could just pass and have the sunspot go. Probably gonna play Red School. Got the Modok avatar, so we got to be aware of Modok discard hiding. Okay, it's not that. about to play Shuri. Oh. Okay. Blue Marvel is a little bit better than Dazzler. Unless I need to go tall at this location, and I may. Need to. I think I probably do. So 
my opponent has initiative, so I don't need to worry about Killmonger. So I'm adding 10 plus 5 is 15 power, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's good enough for a snap for me as well. His Enchantress is out of the way. I'm still ahead. Okay, well that seems like a good place to stop for the evening. So as bad as things were going for, I don't know, a week, maybe more, with this deck, I'm climbing pretty rapidly, and I'm happy with it. So, thank you for watching.